In this video, we will learn how to find the value of sine of inverse of cosecant of x. It can also be said to find out the value of sine of r cosecant of x as inverse of cosecant is also known as r cosecant function. Before finding the value of sine of r cosecant of x, Let's first know the properties of inverse function. Let f be a function such that the inverse of f exists for a given domain. The inverse of the function f is denoted by f to the power minus 1. Let us assume at point x the value of function f is y. So f of x is equal to y. Then, inverse of f of y is equal to x. And, inverse of f of f of x is equal to inverse of f of y as f of x is equal to y. Inverse of f of y is equal to x. So, inverse of f of f of x is equal to x. Similarly, f of inverse of f of y is equal to y. We will apply above properties to solve sine of r cosecant of x. To find out the value of sine of r cosecant of x, let's assume y is equal to r cosecant of x. As r cosecant is inverse of cosecant, so cosecant of y is equal to x. Reciprocal of cosecant of y is equal to sine of y. So taking reciprocal of both sides, we get sine of y is equal to 1 divided by x. y is equal to arc sine of 1 divided by x as arc sine is inverse of sine function. As we had assumed, y is equal to r cosecant of x. So, r cosecant of x is equal to arc sine of 1 divided by x. So, sine of r cosecant of x is equal to sine of arc sine of 1 divided by x. As arc sine is inverse of sine function, this implies sine of r cosecant of x is equal to 1 divided by x. Thank you for being with me. I hope you like this video. Please click the like button and subscribe button. Do not forget to press the notification bell so that you get the notifications of my new videos. And do write in the comments. I am eager to listen your thoughts. If you have any question, please write in the comments. Thank you.